Hi. So before you decide to sign up for Coding Bootcamp, I think you might want to hear me out for a sec. So I've been mentoring this girl who recently signed up for uh, Coding Bootcamp. Just to give you a little context, she's a um, Hispanic girl. Um, I think she's from Mexico. She currently works as a massage therapist and basically she knew nothing about coding or any tech stuff um, before she decided that, you know, she wanted to learn how to code. Anyways, long story short, um, after a few weeks of uh, boot camp, you know, as I'm like mentoring her every week and stuff like that, I pretty much realized that, you know, certain people really need a pre coding boot camp before they enroll in the actual boot camp. If you've never gone to college or, you know, never done any rigorous type of, you know, academic program, um, then I think your chances of failing out of coding boot camp is actually pretty high. You see, it's not that I, I don't think you're going to fail out because like coding is some rocket science, you know, or um, that you're stupid or anything, you're going to fail out, okay? Because you're going to quit. You're going to quit either by straight up, you know, dropping out or you're going to quit because of this, you know, panicky quitting type of energy that will basically sabotage your grades and make you quit. The reason why is because coding bootcamp is intense. I swear, within like a few weeks of uh, mentoring her, they were already introducing Git. I didn't even start learning Git until my very first coding job. And it took me months, to be honest with you, just to get my head around it. So imagine a person who knows nothing about coding, uh, who knows nothing about tech, signing up for coding bootcamp, and then getting thrown you know, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, uh, you know, freaking Git within like a matter of two weeks. So this girl was telling me within like a few weeks, um, I think it was like two weeks, like half of the class was already gone. Half of them already quit. Okay. And like, you know, a good amount is really just barely getting by. She even told me that if it, you know, weren't for me mentoring her every week and basically kind of like you know, giving her encouragement, um, giving her that confidence boost uh, and telling her to persist. Um, and also her, her, you know, quitting her full time job as a massage therapist uh, to pursue coding boot camp full time. Like if it wasn't for all that, like she would have given up and quit. So now the real risk here is not the fact that you're going to lose that tuition money right? Because that's probably what you guys are thinking. You can always make money back. The real tragedy here is, you know, possibly giving up on your aspirations and dreams of becoming a software developer. The pace of the coding bootcamp and, you know, being overwhelmed with all the, the content, uh, the concepts and all these things that's thrown at you at a very fast pace, um, together with, you know, not having a good you know, support structure around you, you know, it can leave you with a very painful experience that will make you think that coding is not for you. It's kind of like the stock market. If you have, a, you know, a very short term uh, mentality and you, you know, start investing or you YOLO uh, your money into some stock like right before the 2008 crash, um, you know, that pain of losing money and getting wiped out you know, may lead you to believe that the stock market is a scam and that, you know, you can, it's just, it's a fool's game and you can never make money in the stock market, right? Well, if you quit it during the 2008 crash, then you actually missed like one of the greatest bull run, you know, in the, the decades that followed the 08 crash. The reason why I think college grads who did well in college, um, especially in a rigorous program, uh, the reason why I think they would do well in coding bootcamp, it's not because they are smarter than you or anything. It's because they have experience with a rigorous curriculum, especially if they got a degree in the STEM field. 
they are more likely to have cultivated a learning and um, study work ethic that more or less prepares them for the code and bootcamp storm. Look, I'm not saying that because you didn't go to college, it's impossible for you. I'm just saying that if you are never in a situation where you had to study a lot and to be honest, you study, you know, mostly to yourself and learn mostly to yourself, then your chances of quitting is just very high. Now, what are some solutions? Before you start enrolling in bootcamp, I suggest you do the following. One, get exposed and get comfortable with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and jQuery. That's pretty obvious. You don't have to master these things, right? You don't have to be good at these things. Just make sure you kind of like understand the gist of what these concepts are and just do some tutorials. Two, get comfortable with, you know, creating coding projects, folders, and, you know, understanding file systems. Basically, get comfortable with, you know, how to create your code files and folders, you know, like where do you save it, right, on your computer, right? I'm telling you, like a lot of you don't even know that step. Like these are the types of things that the coding boot camps expect you to know already. Three, get exposed to GitHub, Git, NPM, and, and the command line. From what I've seen, I may be right or wrong on this, but uh, these code and bootcamps spend like a, like a few days on these subjects. Like they, they kind of like already think like these things should be easy peasy for you for some reason. You know, get comfortable with what NPM is, you know, maybe do a couple of node tutorials where you actually have to use NPM to download some packages, um, create a GitHub profile, right? Um, see if you can uh, pull down an existing you know, project that's hosted on GitHub somewhere, you know, pull it down to your computer, you know, and run NPM install, right? And then see if you can run it. And last but not least, and probably the most important, get your mindset right. Prepare yourself by um, developing successful habits. Like, for example, it can be very easy. Like, can you stick to a schedule where you're coding two solid hours a day? You know, some of that ass in your seat time. Like, you know, if you've never, you know, been like a self starter or, you know, kind of like self learning type of stuff, like start getting that rolling because I'm, I'm telling you, like a lot of people think like this, co these coding boot camps is kind of like hand holding or you're going to school. You know what I mean? And it's all lovey dovey. No, like there's a reason why there's a word boot camp and coding boot camp. Also, you know, you're going to need to be prepared uh, and realize that there's going to be people, other students in the boot camp that are going to appear to be geniuses, right? They seem to like pick up things easily and just knock shit out of the water. Now, sure, they very well might be smart as hell, but I'm telling you, it's more likely that they've already dabbled in coding for quite some time. You know, they probably just signed up for boot camp as well because it gives them some structure and it increases their prospects of finding a coding job um, or mommy and daddy paid for it. And more than likely, they're not going to tell you that mommy and daddy were software developers or that they already learned some of this stuff before. No, they're going to try to come off like some genius that never ran across, you know, that never came across this subject before. And this is just so easy peasy for them. Please get the fuck out of here. It doesn't matter. What really matters, okay, is that you have the right mindset to prepare yourself before enrolling in boot camp. Okay, so that you don't feel like a total failure right from the jump. It's one thing to quit because, you know, coding is not for you and you really can't wrap your head around it, right? That's one thing. But it's another thing to quit because you just wasn't prepared. Okay, so imagine this. Say you don't listen to my advice, you start boot camp, you get overwhelmed, you know, you still have your full time job, and then you quit. And then you conclude that coding is not for you and you leave it alone for X amount of years. Then say, you know, a couple years go by, you know, you're still dabbling in coding and, you know, you're 
you're still learning on the side and then say like in year five you decide okay i'm going to give this coding boot camp thing another try next thing you know things just start clicking you know your brain is firing in all cylinders but bing bada boom next thing you know you're you get a job and you're a software developer but guess what you just wasted five years because you didn't listen to my advice to basically prepare yourself like a month or two ahead of time before you enrolled in coding bootcamp your first time around. So to conclude, you know, before you enroll, take a real good assessment of yourself, you know, a real good, honest assessment of where you're at. If you have no experience or background, right? Um, in your personal life, you know, in coding or just dabbling with, with coding or, you know, any type of tech stuff, take my advice, slow down a bit and prepare. You can follow the outline that I've given in this video or, you know, better yet, whatever boot camp that you have your eye on, right? Go through the curriculum, go through that syllabus, you know, jot down all the things that they're going to teach you. Okay, and just spend literally just spend one month or two ahead of time before you actually enroll and spend your hard earned money, right, on tuition. Before you do that, just spend a month or two basically going through like simulating the boot camp experience for yourself, right? See if you can get a good rhythm going. You know what I mean? Like get a good rhythm and get a good daily habit going. I'm all for boot camps, even though I think you can teach yourself how to code and get a job within six to 12 months. Okay. It's not like I made a video on it or anything. However, if you have the means and the opportunity to enroll in a boot camp, yeah, by all means, go for it. Enroll in a boot camp. Just make sure you are prepared. Peace.